This is Joseph. He was a carpenter, so he was always pretty busy making stuff and doing things, hammering and sawing like a contractor. Joseph had lots of plans for his life. In fact, he was engaged to be married to a very nice young lady named Mary, who you probably already heard of. Mary had a visit from the angel Gabriel. The angel Gabriel asked Mary if she would be willing to give birth to the Savior of the whole world. She said yes. And that's how she became pregnant with Jesus, through the Holy Spirit. But Joseph didn't know anything about this. And when he heard that Mary was pregnant, he thought, A surprise baby? I don't remember talking about any surprise baby. Hmm, can we even still get married? I better sleep on it. So when Joseph went home that night and went to bed, he had a dream. And in the dream, an angel came and told him, Joseph, don't worry, you can get married to Mary because the baby's from the Holy Spirit. That baby's going to save all the people from their sins. So Joseph woke up and he knew everything was going to be okay. So they got married and Mary had the baby in Bethlehem in a manger. And the surprise baby made Joseph's life very different than it was before because babies need things. They need bottles. They need diapers. They need burping in the middle of the night. Uh, uh. Because although Jesus was fully God, he was also fully human. And he needed a human dad to look after him and teach him things. Like how to burp. Uh. God picked Joseph to be that dad, just like he picked Mary to be Jesus' mother. They both had special qualities which made them perfect to be Jesus' parents. Joseph was faithful and good, and Mary was full of grace. One night, in the middle of bottles and diapers and burping, God gave Joseph another dream that said he needed to take the family away from there and go far to Egypt so that the family would be safe from King Herod, who was looking to kill the baby. And so they got away, and they were safe. And then, when that king died and it was safe to go back, Joseph was given another dream that told them that they could go back home. Good thing Joseph was such a good listener. Joseph originally thought that this surprise baby was going to change all his plans for the worse, but it actually turned out to be the best thing ever. Jesus Christ. So if you ever find that your plans have all been turned upside down, maybe it's God who, in his surprising way, is working things out for the best. <laughs>